guys and welcome to another vertical tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna see how we can build our own lab on our own machine. So we're gonna build it starting with VirtualBox and then we're gonna start install the Linux system on and then we're gonna go ahead and prepare the Vertica environment. So if you don't know where to download a virtualizer this is VirtualBox it's open source and you can go to www.virtualbox.org and you can download your uh, virtual box uh, software choose the system you have in my case is gonna be uh, Windows host 64 bit save the file it's gonna take some time depending on how fast your network is and uh, it's about 70 it's about 100 megs. Then uh, install it in your machine. The setup is pretty simple. It's next, next, next. Unless you want to go into uh, customize installation, but I prefer not to. I'm just doing it the default. Uh, this is a warning that will restart your network interface. It's no problem. Just say yes. Okay, and install. And that's it guys next one what we want to install it's a CentOS image so we can run our Vertica uh, database on top of a CentOS image so f next you're gonna go to www.centos.org.download I'm gonna put the links in the description so don't worry and download an uh, ISO for your server I normally choose the minimal minimal ISO because it's faster and you don't actually need because the purpose for the purpose of this uh, lab you don't need all the tools or if you need them you can install them so there you go I already downloaded mine I had it already downloaded and now we're gonna go and build a new machine give it a name uh, for your um, as you like or if you want to keep it in uh, sync with me it can be uh, I don't know let's see here node 1 vertica choose the type of the system in this case it's gonna be Linux and the version we're gonna choose Red Hat 64 bit because CentOS is the open source version or the free version for Red Hat so uh, you see we, we we don't see CentOS so we're gonna choose Red Hat next now we're gonna give uh, we're gonna decide how much memory you're gonna give it we're gonna give it a gig of memory remember this is gonna take from your local host machine uh, the memory now we're gonna create a virtual disk this virtual disk um, it can be the first ver uh, option and make it dynamically uh, we're gonna make it maybe 15 or 20 gigs dynamically means that uh, the space is gonna be occupied uh, along the way he's not gonna be 215 gigs and uh, he's not gonna request initially 15 gigs so there you go our machine is ready what we need to do now it's point to do some extra setup so select the machine then go to settings and uh, in system let's increase a bit the uh, we're gonna put two CPUs we're not gonna change anything in display and uh, here at storage we're gonna make him point to the ISO that we download oh, sorry and uh, that's not one this is the one all right so what you're gonna do you're gonna select choose the virtual drive you're gonna go to the place where you have downloaded so in my case is gonna be at uh, downloads uh, actually it's personal and select it say yes okay network we're gonna put it as bridge adapter because you want him to get an IP for us so we can connect to it and he will be able to connect to the internet and uh, we're gonna increase a bit the memory so the installation would go faster all right and that's about it boys 
you saw that we have selected the IC that we just downloaded just press OK and now start we're gonna go click right start normal start I don't know for whatever reason the mouse pointer doesn't go to the right place anyway now it's good the system is gonna boot and we're gonna go through some uh, default configurations It's gonna take some time, some time, maybe a couple of minutes. Once it's open, just uh, log in as a automatic login. And uh, install to hard drive. Select the, the desktop uh, shortcut. All right, so now we're going to configure our uh, CentOS installation. We're going to choose US English for our keyboard, which was already pre-selected, but for whatever reason, I choose <laughs> to look for it. Uh, we're going to use the first option, basic storage device. And yes, this card in uh, right. We're going to give it a name to the host name. So it's going to be a node, we're going to call it vNode. All right, next now you're going to choose um, your time zone. In my case, it's going to be Melbourne, Australia. You can choose yours, it doesn't really matter. Now type in a password for your root user it must be really complex or so whatever you know since it's going to be on your machine that's not really important so as you can see mine is not that complex so i go ahead and uh, i'm going to choose the second option which is the default replace the existing and write changes on this this might take some time depending on the on the, on the size of the iso installation if you had a complete iso or if you have the minimum minimal one So we're going to jump straight at the end. I'm going to pause and then I'm going to jump in. There you go. So congratulations, your CentOS is installed. What we're going to do now, we're going to shut it down. We're going to, we're going to quit and shut it down. And we're going to do some new changes in the configuration. So right now we will be able to boot using the install and no longer the ISO that we first configured. So shut down the instance or the machine. All right, now we're gonna go to the configuration, to the settings and storage. Actually it's system and click on top of hard disk and move it all the way up. What's that gonna tell the computer? The the host is gonna say boot from the disk, all right? He's not gonna use any uh, ISO or floppy or disk to do that. So he's gonna boot from whatever he has in his bootloader. And now we're gonna start the instance, the instance, sorry, the host or the new VM. And we're gonna go through some simple configuration. In this case, you can uh, put a, uh, another user that is not the admin, in this case, the root user. We're gonna choose uh, my user, AODBA, ODBA, and a really tough password, as you can see here, he's already complaining. All right, yes, yes. This is, a, you can ignore this message, because this is not the purpose of the, this tutorial so as you guys can see it's pretty fast it started pretty fast we're gonna log in as the root user it's not recommended but this is a lab so anyway it's already telling you oh you should be careful because you're logged in as root all right so we're gonna open a terminal and uh Let's see the host name. Oops, apparently he didn't change the host name to the vNode. 
but as you can see we already picked up uh, an IP and we have access to the outside which is in this case it's Google as you can see I can ping Google which is good we can update packages and we got 20 gigs of space on the disk with only 8.4 available so that's it our machine is ready to go and we're gonna set up the very kind installation.